Hey, this is Jackson Rathbone, and you are on the set of Aim High Season 2. We're picking up, you know, back in high school. It's, it's, it's a bit later. I think it's like maybe a couple months later. Um, Nick and Amanda are kind of still sort of like kind of figuring out what their deal is. We're really amping everything up this year. We got longer episodes, a longer runtime of the entire season. We follow a lot more of the um, kind of action side of it. So there's a lot more like um, special effects and fights and spy missions. So that's kind of fun. So it's going to be a lot more explosive and just really fun. I think it's everybody's going to have a lot more fun this year, even more so. I guess. We have Devin Bostic, who's just a just hilarious young kid, and he's just so good in the role of Marcus, and just really kind of uh, adds this kind of like awkward cool, this geek chic, you know, he's definitely the definition of adorkable. They've been awesome, they've been so awesome. Um, yeah, we have some new actors working this season, um, and it's just kind of cool, it's like we have some people that are coming back from the previous season, people that are new in this season, so it's kind of, you know, working with each other and coming up with new ideas and storylines. I remember when they first said that Beverly D'Angelo was coming to play one of our teachers. I thought they were joking, because I was like, yeah, if only we could get Beverly, that would, would be awesome. And then they're like, no, really, she's coming in tomorrow. I'm like, Psh, don't, don't tempt me. Don't, don't say that. I, really? Miss Sparletta is the epitome of probably what you don't want in a high school, in that she's just, kind of over the whole educational system. She's not really paying attention to the individuals in her class. She's just towing the line, a bit strict in that, you know, she's not responsive to all these creatures that she's got in her class. She has no idea who Nick really is. She knows that in this episode, she knows that they can't find him, but she really does not have a clue that he's got this amazing life outside of sitting in the back of her classroom. Last season, yeah, we had Marcus find out that Nick is actually an operative of the government and kind of was always really interested in being Nick's sidekick. And then this year, we really see him kind of stepping up and really trying to, to train. But Marcus is scared of loud noises, so he can't really train with guns. Uh, so he trains with a bow and arrow. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've never thought about it in that way. Um, I don't know. I, my, I think I've done a lot of characters kind of all over the map, so I don't know. I don't know if it would, be, would have been the best. I think he would have been the worst, but I played a character in this movie called Senior Skip Day called Snippy Day, you know, and he was just like this kind of stoner character and he just would have forgot. He's been like, oh man, like, I think I was supposed to, Take out, like, the drug runner or something? I don't know. Alan Griswold. I could see her as a, as a secret, as an as a, as a operative for the government, yeah, by night. Yeah, because Clark would probably be asleep. Thank you for hanging out with us on set of Aim High 2. Make sure to tune in.